Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a bid to bolster its arsenal with cutting-edge technology, the U.S. Army is conducting rigorous tests at Yuma Proving Ground, YPG, in Arizona to evaluate the capabilities of the Modular Turreted Mortar System, MTMS, affectionately dubbed NEMO. Reported by the U.S. Army on May 7, 2024, these assessments aim to ascertain the safety and performance of the semi-automated 120mm breech-loaded mortar system, mounted on an armored multi-purpose vehicle, AMPV. Led by Kevin Err, a test officer from the Munitions and Weapons Division at YPG, the evaluations commenced in January 2024 and are slated for completion in July. With the impending presentation at the Maneuver Warfighter Conference at Fort Moore in September, these tests hold paramount importance in validating the operational efficacy and safety of the NEMO system. Unlike traditional mortar systems, the MTMS boasts a semi-automated nature, requiring a vehicle commander and two crew members for loading, blending advanced technology with manual support. The current testing phase is not only focused on performance validation but also on ensuring the system's safety for soldiers operating in high-intensity combat environments. A key aspect of the safety tests revolves around assessing the impact of vehicle operation on auditory health, mitigating potential hearing damage caused by the thunderous noise during firing. Furthermore, evaluations are underway to monitor the buildup of toxic fumes within the vehicle, emanating from weapon firing and engine exhaust, to safeguard the crew's well-being. The genesis of the MTMS project traces back several years, originating as part of a multi-phase foreign comparative test where the system's capabilities were initially assessed on a foreign vehicle using U.S. ammunition. This initial testing spurred further curiosity, culminating in the integration of the system onto the AMPV, marking a significant milestone in its development trajectory. Captain Mike Hapner from the program Executive Office Ground Combat Systems underscored the strategic significance of the MTMS, highlighting its capability to conduct fire missions on the move, execute direct fire missions, and facilitate multiple rounds of simultaneous impact missions. These capabilities address critical gaps in the U.S. Army's mortar capabilities, enhancing its versatility and operational effectiveness on the modern battlefield. If successfully fielded, the MTMS would herald a paradigm shift in the U.S. military's capabilities, offering enhanced soldier protection during operations. By allowing mortar teams to deploy and utilize their weapons directly within an armored vehicle, the MTMS fortifies troop security against enemy fire and projectile impacts. Moreover, its mobility augments mortar units' agility, enabling swift repositioning in response to dynamic battlefield exigencies without compromising crew safety. In essence, the integration of the MTMS embodies the U.S. Army's commitment to innovation and adaptability, catering to evolving operational requirements in an era defined by asymmetric warfare and unconventional threats. With the MTMS poised to redefine mortar capabilities, its potential deployment heralds a new era of enhanced battlefield lethality and soldier protection for the U.S. Army. That's all for now, see you later.